Hello everybody, welcome to you all in the course of vibration of continuous system. I am Sudip Talukdar and offering this course in the current semester. This course is actually meaningful for engineering professionals, whether he is a student or working in the industry, especially in civil, mechanical, aerospace, mining and marine engineering. All people needs the knowledge of vibration in analysis and design of structure. So, today I will uh, give the introductory lecture to the course. So, actually vibration is understood as a to and fro motion and it is due to the, the load which is time dependent. Generally, the design analysis of structure is carried out under static load and dynamic load and static load of course does not depend on time whereas, dynamic load is dependent on space and time. So, there are different effects that we know the dynamic load causes and sometimes these are causing devastation, damage to the structures. Examples are earthquake load, wind load, blast loading and there are also the vibration in day to day life we are experiencing say vehicle vibration when we travel on a rough road, then machine vibration for various causes, then uh, your vibration uh, in the bridge due to vehicle movement and foot bridge vibration due to pedestrian movement. Effect of dynamic load on structure and machines are the following types. Resonance one is very important uh, consideration, then fatigue which is due to accumulation of the dynamic load over a period of time that is dynamic stresses over a period of time which uh, exceeds the endurance limit and causes developing the fatigue crack. Others are right comfort and also affect the controllability of the machines and equipment and also serviceability. That means, excessive vibration is not allowed and it will be annoying to the people. So, we know the effect of vibrations and these are seen in various cases means the earthquake effect is seen damaging the building where the earthquake was severe. One of the example here is the Bhuj earthquake which happened in 2001 and other examples are this wind which causes flutter in the structure and therefore, the aerodynamic instability occurs and the bridge here is an example of suspension bridge which was uh, constructed in 1940 in Washington and it was collapsed due to flutter wind speed. After that it was uh, again reconstructed and stagnant further. Okay. So, this is an example of development of fatigue crack which is due to accumulation of dynamic stresses over time. So, such type of damage or crack occurs in uh, steel bridges especially where the continuous this movement of the vehicles are happen. So, one needs to know the effect of dynamic loading on the structure and it has become the need of the today's uh, research and development. We will deal with the dynamics of continuous system. Any physical system whether uh, it is a building, bridge or machine component or aircraft structure can be modeled in different ways. The modeling of structure is generally done in two ways, one is continuous modeling and another is discrete type of modeling. This course will deal with the continuous system that is continuous modeling. A continuous system has its physical parameters distributed in space. Therefore, the dynamic behavior of such systems are 
both time and space dependent. So, in studying the dynamics of continuous system, both initial and boundary value problems are encountered and we require to formulate such problems and find the technique to solve it. Generally, in continuous system, when we formulate the dynamic equation of motion and uh, try to solve it analytically, such solutions gives various benchmark results which can be used to test the efficacy of many numerical methods used in discrete analysis. Now, let me give the highlights of the syllabus. So, first we will give the introduction to continuous system, general approach for modeling of continuous system. Then we will give the concept of time domain and frequency domain analysis. Then we will go to uh, this continuous system with one dimensional wave equation and vibration of flexible string, axial and torsional vibration of bar. Then we will come to the bending vibration of beam and beam specially the free and force vibration will be discussed. Then we will discuss the combination of continuous and lump parameter system. This chapter I have included because you know that in beach vehicle interaction problem, uh, this vehicle generally it is a lump mass model. Then we will come to two dimensional uh, elements that is vibration of membranes and plates and discuss some approximate techniques for the solutions. Tangent response and vibration isolation will be discussed thereafter and finally, I shall discuss numerical techniques in dynamic analysis and application with MATLAB. So, this is the outlines of the course and there are 12 modules. For each module, there will be 3 to 4 lectures and uh, assignment will be given in each module, so that you can test whether you have learned from the lecture in the particular module. And I also hope that you will attend the live session uh, that will be conducted three times in this semester. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.